Barstool Pick'em is brought to you by our friends at Game Time, the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. Created by fans for fans, Game Time is the new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. Uh, what game are you looking forward to, Dave? We're actually about to tape the first college football show. We're going to announce everything. Yeah, we have give, our... it, give, give a teaser. What game are you most looking forward to? That we're going to? Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll throw out no Michigan because I'm Michigan, but I, week one right after that. I yeah. mean, I, Iowa is one of my favorite Week two, places yeah. To go. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. I, so Iowa State at Iowa week two. I, I'm, I love going to Iowa. I, I have said that one publicly as well. We will be there. Also, um, the Mac games. Yeah. I've never been to a hmm. Mac game, so I'm very much ex- uh, looking forward to that. I have. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. So, Game Time is going to get us into every uh, game this year. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time. Last minute tickets. Lowest price. Guaranteed. Download that Game Time app right now and use code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Thank you to Game Time, our wonderful. Game time app or ticketing app. They're the exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports. So, Dukes, we don't do the the sheets. Like, when we walk in, we have a sheet with last week's records. Yeah. Welcome to week one. I don't know what that is. He's got it on his notepad. Yeah, I got it on my notepad. He's got it on his Yeah, I got it on my notepad right here. Right, right, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, so what we're going to need moving forward from you is you print out the records. Okay, yeah. And last what week's wins and losses. More to lock. More to lock standings. Yeah. I could have told you, you that standings. on your notebook really does nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'll, I'll write down a note to make a note for next week. To Correct. So when we walk down, like, see what Katie, all this stuff, like, all we need is the cumulative scores. Yeah. How we did last week moving forward. Like, how else are we going to keep track of you and your results if they're just in chicken scratch on your sheet? I'm making a Google sheet. Too. Okay, great. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and just have them ready. So we yeah. sit down, we pick it up, we look, we're like, okay, here maybe, we go. Maybe let Katie uh, have access to that Google Sheet just so she can keep an eye on it. Yeah, that's a good idea. She doesn't have to do anything, but just keep, you know. Do you want me to read out the records? Sure. Okay, yes. uh, Rico, you were 0-3, your mortal lock also didn't hit. Ooh. Dan, you were 2-4, and 4, but you gave out two mortal locks. I did, did because hit. I forgot that, obviously, the stupid law, we can't bet on Illinois and Illinois, so I gave up a backup Mortal but that lock. doesn't that's still one more yeah, yeah, yeah 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 but yeah, I, mean, yeah, I just yeah, wanted yeah, on the record yeah, yeah, i did yeah, win yeah, both yeah, my mortal yeah, locks yeah, yeah, yeah. uh Easily. dave you're on top of the standings right now two and one but you're more yeah, yeah, than a loss was an understanding lost by 100 yeah and i I, woke I, up to I, that. I had i watched the first half i had bad gambling um on saturday because i and i made a vow i called or texted Ke- uh kelly in vegas and it was like who do you like and she's like wyoming I have so much faith in her that I flipped from Illinois to Wyoming. So I bet Wyoming, and then I got mad at myself. I wasn't going to bet, actually, uh, because I was just doing baseball. Um, I missed the Northwestern game because that was the phase of the day where I'm like, I'm not going to bet. Right. And then I took Kelly, lost, and then I'm like, I'm just sticking with my picks, took Hawaii. So even though I was 2-1, and one, I was actually 0-2 in real That sucks. Bad. Yeah. Um, all right, so week one is finally here. Dave, I'm going to um, – I'm just going to ignore Rico because he's been pouting all day. I want to stay positive because I'm so excited for week one. I went through my board yesterday. I have 27 picks as of right now. I have I'm 25. Just excited. I'm excited. I tweeted out yesterday. Uh, it's like it was back in the lab. There's so many. I don't that, like the board. I love it. I, I, I quote tweeted it with the ultimate warrior just fucking yeah. grabbing the ropes because that's I how it. I feel right and now. And there's a last time I checked, there's a lot of games that don't have lines still unless they've a come few, out. Yeah. So I could end up on a 30, 30 burger. Oh, I'm going to be adding. And I said to myself, I'm going to do. I'm going to do a smaller card this year, and then I looked through it, and I was like, love this, love this, love this, love this, love this. I actually had to talk to my money guy, and I was like, how much money do I have? And he's like, why? What are you doing? It's like, I, I'm gambling. And when you do what I do, which is minimum twenty five grand a game on Barstool Sportsbook, uh, do the math. Twenty five. Can someone – Dukes, 25,000 times right now, 25. <laughs> what is that? So six hundred twenty-five thousand. Okay. So I need six hundred twenty-five <laughs> in my account. Well, no, you could win on Thursday no, and I, Friday. Yeah, that's true. But that's where you get in trouble with, because when you're when you need wins and then things go off without you get. I want. I think put, that's how Bernie Madoff got caught. It, it could you're be. Trying to keep yourself. Afloat. I looked at Bernie Madoff's house in uh, the Hamptons. <laughs> yeah, you told me that's bad vibes, though. No. Well, there's some guy guy who owned it in between, 
just had a price reduction from 23 million to 16 million. It's not set up great, but I digress. It's one. It's like one room, not enough room. Anyways, I want to bet it and set it. Yes, I, I just put it's it away, it, set it, forget and, it, and, and yes, but that means I got to deposit 650 grand. Yeah, because it's actually a smart thing to do. Because I always like we've always talked about it, but the 10 minutes before kickoff is the deadliest time of the day because you just like I want to add this, I want to add that, yeah. I want to add this. So you got to bet it, set it, forget it. Correct. It's um, like a wedding. You need enough to cover it. You're going to get some back, hopefully. Yeah. Keep yourself afloat. No, I didn't look at a wedding like that. I mean, no, I didn't. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. He's been so pouty today that I don't want to be around him. Why? Because he, you're, you're going to pretend you didn't pout the minute you walked in? I asked him if he heard the Dave Portnoy show. He, he, I don't down. listen to that. He took a lot of shrapnel, rightfully yeah. so, on the Dave Portnoy show. He, like, that is me just trying to shake a guy who will not listen for the last Correct. decade to finally. Like, will you say no to a game show ever again? No. Won't happen again. See? Okay. There we go. But he, he said, I don't, I don't listen to that show. Oh, he listens. He, go, he goes up to Austin every Tuesday being like, how bad did I yeah, get yeah. it? Yeah, he got it bad. Rico yeah. got no, it bad. But that was, that was like a coach. An exasperated coach who's at his wit's end who's like, I'm going to give this guy one more shot to wake up, and if, and if he doesn't wake up, I've done everything I can do. Un unfortunately, Dave, I've given that um, same speech, and what Rico's computer and his brain does is that if you tell him what you said on the Dave Portnoy show, he takes it into his brain, and out comes a, a computation that just says they're trying to squeeze me out. That's all that it will He's come out. He's squeezing himself out, but yeah. we're going to keep it positive. Yeah, we're going to keep it positive. Grumpy monkey. You didn't listen, though. You didn't listen to the show. No. Your Twitter yeah. account stinks. <laughs> what happened on Saturday night? You lost your you lost Well, your all phone? you do, Rico, I this conversation, you just retweet. You don't put any personality into it. You just retweet like, here's the... It, it, you, you may... Have a computer doing it for you. I've been. What? Yeah. What are you looking for? Person? What are you? Yeah. As, as far as yeah. what? Yes. Well, yes. I'm I'd looking for so. the Rico personnel. So. Yes. Yeah. yeah. In that terms of of where? Just just at, like interactions with people. Where's the junkyard dog? Where do he go? Opinions. Something that's interest. Like you literally. You, I think if I went back. And, and did, like, your last 100 tweets, I'm going to guess 90 of them are retweets. I've peeled back a little bit. Mm -hmm. But a retweet's not even, like, a real thing. Like, let's get the Rico, like, the person I, like... The junkyard dog, he's dead. I, yeah, yeah, he's dead. Yeah, he's just a little chihuahua sitting on the fucking couch. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. Well, there's a lot of negative let's, let's have a good show. <laughs> let's have a good show. Can I just say one last thing? a lot of negative out there. I'm not I'm peeling back. Also, Gaz said people tweet too much. There's no, you, there's, there's no possibility that Gaz said that. Tweeting too much is not a thing. If people think you tweet too much, they'll unfollow you. That's fine. There's never a time where I'm not, like, I, I actually feel physical pain when I go, like, 12 hours without he, doing some kind of Rico interaction. Rico is saying... You're addicted to Twitter. Yeah, but, uh, but, Gaz, but that's point, because I'm addicted also to content. Everything else. You also Rico, do everything else. Rico, Rico just pit chair, but Gaz is saying don't forget about the other social medias because there's tons of people and people get so focused on Twitter they're not using the other social media. I don't think you're doing any of it. Okay. But that, I, I'm, I'm it was not stop tweeting. It was just it was it was, it was, it was dedicate time to everything, which obviously you do, big cat. So it's not a problem. But, but right. I don't count. And I actually yeah. I fixed it. I, fi I I actually noticed that I wasn't doing enough on Instagram. So I had our guy memes. I was like, you need to just start posting my clips on Instagram. Like I want, I maybe it's a a, a character flaw that I'm addicted to content, but like I want to always be on. You're always off. You are always. I, I'm starting to break out the the black, and I'm serious. I don't know what you're doing. What are you doing on Bes tw on Twitter? No, at this company. Besides this, you're you're not blogging, right? I what? Yeah, it was. Was or are? I mean, we just started this. Yeah, it's football's back. Like it's gonna take. But yeah, you could pull it up. Well, you weren't. I can't right. I'll pull it up. I Listen, mean, I'm gonna say one last thing. I want to say positive because I'm very excited about Week One. So I'm not trying to be negative, but I'm just gonna give a little. Piece of advice to Rico that he's not going to listen to, but I'm going to say it anyway. Gambling is gambling. 
If you lose, it's not a big deal. Losses happen. Everyone loses at gambling. So when you do the, I'm losing, and I just go silent for an entire night, that's crazy. That's crazy. You Like, when you lose, you just own it. You wear it. Now on to the next one. Like, no one thinks that we're experts. No one thinks we're geniuses. No one thinks that we have some system that's going to be, like, guaranteed 70%. When I lose, I'm like, fuck, I lost. Own it. Sucks. Okay, here we go. This got this. Uh, does this go to everybody? I, I don't know. Hubs to Barcelona content. It does. Every So everybody has this. Uh, top 20 bloggers page views this past week. Riggs, Pat, Jerry Thornton, Matt Fitzgerald, Big Tennessee Hubs, RTD, Steve Che, Clem, Chief, Greeny, K. Marco, Dante, Kelly Keegs, Banks, Jordan, Katie, White Sox, Dave, M. Rags, Nate. That's the top 20. So I don't. Other people are doing other stuff. But, like, I know we're doing this. But what else are you doing besides this? Yeah, Pick Central. Um, Jack has been getting me involved in the TikTok. Obviously, the the other thing got dropped, so like trying to figure out where but to go it's once that now. starts. I, I, I got like hot it. ice every Tuesday and Thursday. Like but those it's are gambling. Like, those are like quick things. All right, you're a full time employee. Okay, you're, I, so that's what's like. All right, is he going electric on Twitter? Creating content? No, it's like film this, go home, and be done. I guess. Damn it. Made me spill. You made me spill my coffee. Oh, no. Add it to my some, list of decks. Dukes, go grab some something to clean <laughs> that up. Can we get you a new one? Just, just yeah, let's get the let's get the yeah. up first. Oh, fuck, how's he gonna do that? I'm. I, and this is constructive. I don't mean because I'll start fresh, but it's like I, like the energy you bring when you're with Kirk, like Skip. That's great energy. Where is it? Where is it? I don't know. I guess harnessed. We gotta, we gotta unharness. We'll bring it, it back. We gotta unharness. We gotta, we gotta let it out. I'm sure, not saying like be a crazy person, but be Rico. Be the Rico we fell in love with. This is like essentially what this is. Is this is like a, a 20 year marriage, and I'm just woke up one day and I was like, I want, the, I want the guy I fell in love with back. I don't know what this is. We haven't had sex in a long time. You and me. You haven't come in my hole. I haven't come in your hole. I want that. I want that spark back. I want my junkyard ba- dog. I miss him. Well, some would say, you know, when you go at guys and then get put back in the cage pretty quickly. Well, yeah, you can't well, you throw can't, stuff at people. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Dan Dakich, well, Doug Gottlieb, like it's. I didn't, oh, t- oh, oh. I didn't tell you to stop going to uh, Gottlieb. You can keep going to that Dakich. What I happened with Dakich? Mental health mark. Like, that you're like, you who's pull it right back. Who's mental health mark? Who's mental health mark? Kirk? No. Are you talking about Titus? I didn't <laughs> say that. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Rico. Jesus. You had every, oh no, that's, that. That was that bad one. one. He's no friend of mine. He's so. a friend of mine. <laughs> but you can do whatever you want. He's spoken openly about mental health. I'm okay. just saying. That's all. So that's a positive. That's I have it as well. Applause. You would think yeah. that's a round of applause. You would think at the final four you would have found more of a bond or like you didn't, maybe Rico, he you didn't Rico. look him in the face. Rico. Right. I was like Got it. we I was telling you, I was like, you like he's a good dude. You guys would like each other. If you you know, obviously you don't even have a college basketball show, it's like you were like we're competing, but it's like if you're on his show, like it would be good. He could come on yours, whatever. And then I was standing next to you, and you just iced him out. Yeah, you didn't look him in the eye. And he was like, "That but was I weird." Don't need like he was even to be like, but, he, but just no, attacking people. No, he doesn't be have passionate. To, he doesn't have to like the Mark Titus thing. Like he he is now twisting history, where he's like, "I thought he'd be nice." You, I watched you. We were standing at the bar outside that bar across the street from our hotel in Louisiana. You, he walked up, and you did the Rico. I'm not even looking at you. You can't. Swing that the other way. All right, week one. I'm sorry. I, yeah, we got to say. I told myself I was going to go on that ramp, but I'm I'm even on bigger. It's just like I need to see effort. I that that's really what I'm, I don't think you're trying. Okay. You're not getting squeezed out. You're actually getting something that a lot of people don't get here, and that's Dave being like trying to trying to shake the like you said shake the tree. A lot of people who don't who are in your position, don't get anything. They're just gone. Showing that we love you. Oh my and God, I don't man. even think you studied your picks. 
Those are so miserable. You're so bad at picking games. It's almost a talent. Charlotte Let's turn it around. Bad. Yeah, Charlotte I want to see you. You can't lose a mortal lock by 30. You yeah. also can't lose a mortal lock by 53. Ooh. No, but two and one's two and one in yeah, the defending right. champ. Got I mean, it. two two one. I did go two and zero. Two, on my two and one locks. with an zero and one mortal lock is a lot different from the defending champ than zero and three getting smushed. You haven't won this season. I don't know who put that graphic in the company meeting. If you bet, what was it? A hundred bucks on every Rico Bosco pick, you'd be down ten grand. That was vicious. That was, and vicious. it hurt. But let, it's week one. Last week, I'm gonna give that that board sucked. That and this that was also last week. We had a lot of airing of grievances from the summer. I want to, I want to stay focused on something I love. Like I had two moments this week that I love more than anything in the world. One, I put more money into my sportsbook account. That's a great feeling. Two, I went through the board. And like I actually thought, I actually think that I like putting my bets in more than even watching the games. Like that feel of like twenty seven. Yeah, I think I'm going eighteen and seven minimum this week. I crunched the numbers myself. I'm I'm looking at a nineteen and eight day. And I'm vowing to myself not to listen to other people's picks. Kelly and Vegas, while great, I I you gave Illinois, so I guess I was listening to that, but that hurt. Yeah, Illinois, Wyoming is bad. Yeah, real bad. Hawaii, apparently, Hawaii is too. Yeah. That was uh, so. I Vanderbilt looked like their varsity squad versus freshman. You know those games you watch and you're like they're just so much bigger. But you're kind of hanging on. You scored first, and it's just like you're rooting against the tides to come in. You knew they had no chance. The um, remember the scene in Succession when um, uh, what's his name? Uh, what's the what's the shithead? Kieran McCulkin. What's his name in Succession? I'm, I'm bad at names. I finished pe- Roman. Roman. Yeah, Roman. Yeah. Roman. When the when when his uh, rocket explodes and he takes out his phone and he looks at it and he's yeah. just like whoop and he puts yeah, it back yeah. in. On I was on a bachelor party, so I got home Saturday and I did the thing where I was like I was gonna try to watch the game. I blinked and at, at like eight thirty. Next thing I know, I open my eyes. It's eight a.m. Pull out my phone, see the Hawaii score, and just like put it back. I was like, that's I'm not gonna let that ruin my day. <laughs> El- Elio <laughs> was over my house that night. We were watching it, and I after Hawaii took the lead seven nothing. I think I was like I was legit li- upset. I'm like I knew I should have put like a hundred grand on this game. Hawaii, there's no chance they don't cover. Wrong. Also finished Peaky Blinders. Nice. Yeah. Do you, okay, so the now we can little, talk about it. And it was a little strange. Well, I didn't realize. Did you realize there's a movie? Yes. So I didn't well, know I, there was I, a I movie. Mean, I, I went straight to the Google machine to like read reviews, and they said a movie's coming but out. But when you were watching the show, you didn't know there was I a movie. I did not know that. So I had the same experience, which was great, because I was like, it's got to end. You're right. And it didn't. because I, like, I do have a question. His uh, Finn. Yeah. He, Finn wasn't in on anything, right? Finn, his half-son? No. no. Finn's the full son. Phil's, Finn's the Who's He's like, the new son's like, you're out of this family. He's like, by order of the peaky fucking blinds. Because he tried to shoot him. Finn is... Finn, Finn's, Finn's the, a brother, I think. Finn's a brother. Brother, yeah. Brother, yeah, not yeah, son. Yeah, sorry, yes. brother. Yeah, because he was siding with the other guy. But he didn't he know anything, right? I don't know. I think Wait, he sided with Michael. No, he, saw, he sided with the Irish guy. The IRA guy. Oh, yes. But yes. he didn't know he the was IRA... Foreman. Yeah. Who was? Finn. Finn. I th- I'm pretty sure Finn was. I think he was doing some suspect no, shit. No, Finn wasn't an informant. The Irish, the, the the other guy was the informant. I thought Finn. And he I'm, was friends with him, though. Yes. Yeah. Billy. I think he knew something. Billy. Yeah. Finn yeah. was an informant for him. Yeah. No, he wasn't. But I think maybe it was also one of those situations where you let an informant into this Correct. family. Yeah. So you're out. Right. Right. But Finn didn't know. I don't know. I, can't, I haven't watched the finale for like, I was like three months ago. I so. thought the last season was the worst season, by the way. It's all It all blends together, but I... I thought Finn was like uh, worked with. How maybe badass is Billy Tom was Hardy. informant. Finn worked with him. Yeah, Tom Alfie. Hardy's the yeah. best. Yeah, no. Listen, no. Finn did not know. Finn but was friends with that guy and didn't believe him. It's like Donnie Brasco when you let an informant. Correct. In, you yeah, yeah, whack yeah, yeah, yeah. Donnie, yeah. great movie. Right. Right. You know, I'm gonna chime in on. I didn't talk watch the Donnie show. Brasco. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen the full thing. Oh, you are such a letdown. Yep. Thank God we got a mob guy coming in. Yep. You never seen Donnie Brasco? God, it's crazy. We just need a we need three the, more we months, need the, Steve. We need the three sad prices right horn for every time Rico says something. <laughs> <laughs> How have you not Whoa. seen Donnie Brasco? Three more months. How have you not seen Donnie Brasco? Watch it. I it's a great seen movie. It. It's a fucking great movie. I haven't seen the full thing. 
You started and stopped. No, like it's been on and you pop in on pieces, but then never. That's not a movie can you I, can stop. Can right. I give you a homework assignment? Yeah. Watch Donnie Brasco. Got it. Give me your grade when you come back. And you know what? Write a blog about it. Yeah. Sure. That's How good. shitty Al Pacino's kitchen is in that always always blew my mind. And the best the best scene ever, the Christmas gift. Yeah. When they give each other <laughs> money. He's like, I order. actually kind of need a you, couple I, mo- dollars. What do you, who are you? You've never seen the, all right, fine. Let's say positive. That's positive. Yeah. Week one. Week one. Week one. Week one. Clap it up, Rick. Oh, yeah. interesting. Yeah. Clap it up. Right. I hadn't seen Peaky Blinders. It's great. It's a great show. Great show. Great show. Um, okay. I didn't realize either that Paul, did you know Paul died in real life and that's why she died in the oh, show? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I knew in real time when she passed away. I, that, yeah. that, I didn't know that till after. What a switch. So yeah. it changed the whole dynamic. Yeah. She's I thought great Michael actress. was going to end up having uh, his back. Um, yeah. Tommy. They yeah. shot him right in the eyeball. Yep. The spoilers. We'll just <laughs> so put spoilers. spoilers. Well, just well you can't spoilers. spoil when that show end. Yeah, I think that the last season came out pretty recently. Yeah, it was like four months the ago. The blonde girl yeah, is that's um, not that long. The at blonde all. girl is from uh, like one I just night finished Soho, watching. Pretty it good not. movie. Yeah. And that I lo- I love the fucking guy. I, they always do great. Uh, like that guy, the the Boston mobster. That was kind of like Joseph Kennedy. Yeah. Like I love that they like kind of intertwined. Yeah, some yeah, real yeah, history. yeah. He was going to yeah. put the, that ball latch. Yeah. Joseph on. Kennedy's an old time bad guy. Yeah. Who? No, I know. Kennedy's father. Listen, I know. I'm not saying. You heard. You know about the thing with the drowning, right? Yeah, dude. Like the. Well, yeah. Are you talking yeah. about Ted Kennedy? Yeah, we know. Succession. Yes. Which succession one's the fault from that as well? Which one's the father, Joe, Joe. or Ted? Who was the one with the drowning? Ted. Ted. Oh, so I'm misinformed. Well, I'm a, let, let me say something right now. <laughs> but I also know the Kennedys were involved in no. throwing voting election booths in no. Chicago Dude, River. No. I would say, yeah. you want to no, say I, like... Listen, yeah. I, I am as pro... I, yeah. I, I, I'm Team if, Kennedy. If I'll you want to start with why Joseph Kennedy... legacy. The mo- Joseph Kennedy was pretty bad. Sure the mob killed Kennedy. He was a Nazi sympathizer. Yeah. He didn't like Jews. Who? Joseph Kennedy. I don't want to hear that. I As mean, I'm Jew, sorry to break I, that I, to I you. Don't want to yeah, so he was, he was, which one was that. the Olympic swimmer? And he was in the car with the girl, and then he escaped that's, and that's she died. That's Ted Kennedy. That was Ted Kennedy. Chip, Chip, Chippewick. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Chippewick. Not Massapequa. That's Chippewick. Long Island. Um, Chippewick. Martha's Vineyard. Chappaquiddick. Dukes! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. Look at this guy. Out of nowhere. All right, let's do the, let's do the, uh, the main games. No, we got business first. Oh. Oh. <laughs> It giggles. Uh, oh, God. If at Hill and we Bob need Bronco. like, uh, if I ask you to do something, will you then ask for credit for it for the rest of your life, no, even is, if it's this involved is, this in your is job? This is all I got. I'm team guy. Let's go. What do we need to do? Can you get some sort of like Barstool Pick'em guest trophy where we just put it so it'll be oh, Pat yeah. Hill this and now just Diaccio? Yeah. Anybody who just, you know, something. Actually, you know what we should do? We should have we have the Pat Hill Trophy. Yeah. Maybe not this year because you can't really do a, do a trophy halfway. You know, at the end of the year. But I think Mortal Lock winner should get the Bob Diaco Mortal Lock Trophy, and oh, yeah, everyone yeah, in the room yeah. is. I like you know what I mean. Two, two trophies. Two trophies. Dude's got to keep track of everyone in the room too. This is great. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep track of everyone's Mortal Locks because yeah. everyone is eligible for the for the Bob Diaco Trophy. So Rico, thank you so much for bringing this project to me. You guys have kept me entertained for years. So happy to have you guys kick off the season. Uh, best wishes, Miles. He's Thanks start- to Big Cat for paying for it. Yeah, well, it's company expense. I but think I used my, yes. my card. But yeah, yeah, you have a company fine. card. Yes. Well, no, I think I used thank- my. Oh, you uh, did. Whatever. I care. I, I think I did. Google you pay, knew. So you yeah. Know, so it's sir, collect a lot on uh, on Instagram. I thought oh, he did so yeah. free ads. So we paid for it, and he's getting free ads. That's a good gig. <laughs> That's a beautiful trophy, Rico. I'm staying positive. Let me see. Are you bigger than your problems? Can I see? What? That's a beautiful trophy. Bob Diaco, the fucking civil so, conflict. Here, let me take a picture of it. So here's here's that how I see trophy. it. So so From someone takes it with them. Yeah. So here's what here's What'd what you I say? see. He this makes happening. toys like that. Is I'm it. not like, asking about the guy you're giving free ads sure. to. I'm asking who when you win it, what happens? I think you get to keep it for the yeah, year. We'll so, have to get. We just got it, here. so we'll have to get something on the bottom. The Bob Diaco Mortal Lock Trophy. And then maybe on the sides, the same. We'll so get the this little. This thing's amazing. Yeah, we paid for this. Yeah, I like how he, the, the guy who made even put his own logo on it. Yeah, this is one of the great boondoggle <laughs> trophies of all time. I mean, the big the big hat one. If if we sold the big hat ones, he has behind him, it, they're Which amazing. One? That guy, it's the same guy. Which one? On Which one? How, how do you know this guy? Why are you sh- why are you showing oh, yeah. him so hard? 
Jerry got a thing on his desk, so I looked like and and for again, like you say, you know, you're a loser, you're a piece of shit, you're an asshole. But like I knew about that Dildo. clip from a year ago. So like, hey, make the more lock. Year off. That's what he's been that. doing. That's he's all been right. That clip. That, 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 that yeah. there you go. There's a year worth of work. Put that put that on the. Your, what did he do this year? He there was a clip. <laughs> he he had it. that in his holster. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. So here's how I envision this working. Good job, Rico. Right. Here's that, how is, I, that is beautiful. It's a beautiful trophy. All jokes aside, that's a beautiful trophy. So here's yeah, how it's going to work. The Bob Diaco uh, Mortal Lock Trophy winner of the year, that's almost like the MVP. You can win the MVP. Yeah. The Super Bowl is winning Correct. the full season, but everyone in the room is eligible to win the MVP. So right. what, you, you also have to keep the standings for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I believe like a ton of people gave out Hawaii. Yeah. So, yeah, go, so that's why we got to get Doug's a goddamn microphone? <laughs> we got to get him one. Thanks. We gotta get him one. Oh yeah, big cat. You're well, your your time passed. <laughs> <laughs> the moment is passed. All right. And so then that, for whatever reason, if you do miss, like if Katie has an oblo, she gets pulled aside. She does give a mortal lock on the show. Right. Go, you're the only one agree, who has oblos and misses. Okay, got it. We agree to go by percentages. No, here's what we got. Here's the rule. It's hard and fast. It's percentages, but to be eligible for the mortal lock trophy, you have to have at least ten mortal locks on the season. But okay. but are we going to allow somebody to do like? 20? No, no, no. You have to, no, you can, oh, it's max one per week. Okay. But like if someone's out, cause like if Ari yep. has to travel or something, yep. Yep. so it's, as long as you hit the 10 threshold, Got it. we'll go by percentages. Okay. I think Great. that's fair. Could we, uh, cause I'm going to leave early to set up stuff for the act. I gave dudes my. That's fine. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Okay. All right. Let's get to the games. Week one. I'm so excited for this, this card. Uh, we start on Thursday night. That's the backyard brawl is back. Huge. West Virginia, Pittsburgh, quite quite a storyline in this game because you got two guys. If you talk to them in 2019 when they're sitting in Southern California living the high life, Keaton Slovis and JT Daniels, you're like, hey, three years from now you're going to play each other at the Backyard Brawl, and it's going to be the first time it's played in a decade plus. So Keaton Slovis on Pitt now, uh, JT Daniels on West Virginia. Pitt is minus eight, so that's a, that's a miss – quote on this it's it's moved minus eight over under is 51 and a half Rico I'll start with you I think you got to go the over based on the uh pace of play and these two quarterbacks I know Kenny Pickett was there last year obviously Keaton Slovis is uh, not as good but he's definitely a big time name JT Daniels you can make the argument was the better quarterback at Georgia I know they ended up winning the the title without him um starting anyway but I'd go with the over 51 is also not necessarily the highest number for me mm-hmm Two teams, and a half. Yeah, two yeah. teams in the 30s or 30-24. Like, that's easy to me. Okay. Over. Dave? So, I'm going to say right off the bat. It's actually 51. It is 51, Dukes. There's a lot of things I'm going to not know about this college football season because of these new rules and who's where and this, that, and the other thing. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of uniform bets early. And to me, this is just a game that it's outrageous. West Virginia is getting eight points. If I was setting the spread without knowing, I would say it's a pick em. Um, so I'll take the points, West Virginia. Okay, I'm going to take Pitt minus eight in the over 51. I think Pitt's just the better all-around team returning their – I think both teams actually return their full offensive line, which should be good for the over theoretically. Um, so excited this this rivalry's back. This is one of those rivalries should never Yeah, I go saw away. that clip. Uh, it, it, so if we're talking, it must have been Slovis who came up. He's just like, fuck. Yeah, fuck West fuck, Virginia. Fuck West Virginia. That, that sealed my West Virginia pick. Yeah, and, and I don't know if people like – realize the what is it like an hour and a half away from each other like that's one of those yeah, they ones hate each other you think that like oh they're not that have they close. ever played this early i feel like they always played at the end well yeah because they were in the same conference for a while but yeah 2011 is the last time they played hmm. it's crazy yeah. um okay uh yeah pitt katie has a good stat here 31st in returning production so they got a lot of guys back obviously they lost a lot of guys to the draft um and their ocs at nebraska now who scott frost already threw under the bus love that <laughs> Love that. What a fucking idiot. Uh, okay, next game. But we're Team Diaco here, so we want to see Scott Frost. Fight. 111th in production, but finished 6-7, mm -hmm. and seven, three losses under seven points. That's West Virginia. They kept games close, yeah. And all their quarterback, the lineback, Daniels. I, I, I love West Virginia here. Okay, um, the next game, Oregon at Georgia, Mercedes-Benz Dome. Uh, this is another one, Dave. I don't know if you know, Bo Nix is on Oregon now. No, I didn't know that. Yep, he's on Oregon now. So, uh, Georgia's minus 17, over-under is 53. Dave, I'll start with you. I Again, I didn't know Bo Nix was the quarterback of Oregon. Um, 
but 17. 17 is a shit ton of points, right? I don't love this game. I have to take it. I'm going to yeah. take the points Oregon in hope. Uh, you know, we all remember, of course, Oregon going into Ohio State and beating them. Uh, Oregon's just, I think, too good to be given 17 to anybody. I'll take Oregon. Okay. That was my uh, thought all summer. Too many points? Yeah. I just thought it was too much. But uh, Georgia's defense can smush you. If you look at what they've done, now, I know they lost some guys, but it's a defensive mindset and what they've done against top 10 teams the last couple of years. They hold them. I would go Georgia and the under. I don't see how you lose both. Also, Dave, um, I don't know if you know this, but the Georgia's defensive coordinator from last year is now the Oregon head coach. I didn't know that. Dan Lanning. Yeah. yeah. So it's like perfect that, you know. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to just have to rely on uniform knowledge here <laughs> for it's the new era of college football. <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to go. I hate this game. I hate this game. It's a tough game. Where is it being played? Mercedes Benz Dome. Uh, I don't like unders there. Yeah, I'm going to go with the over. 51. Or, yeah, 51 and a half. I'll take the over. I don't know. I, I don't like this game. Me I don't either. like this game. Uh, I, I feel like there's a chance that, that Georgia does smush them, which would kill my under, or over bet. But I'm hoping that Oregon, Bo Nix, he's the king of just pulling plays out of his ass. Uh, okay, next up. That, to me, by the way, was a negative that you told me Bo Nix was a quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not like that's not like. Oh, I mean, nice. you could you could spin it slightly positive week one that he's played SEC defenses, yeah, and like he knows what this. I would rather a like. guy I don't know who it is as the quarterback <laughs> yeah. of Oregon. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's perfect for Pac-12 after dark though. Just yeah, doing yeah. random yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy yeah. shit like in the desert. Um, okay, next game, since he had Arkansas, Arkansas minus six over under fifty two. This one is in. Fayetteville, so it is being played at Arkansas. Um, I'll start. I want to take Cincy so bad, but I just think that Arkansas, like, they're going to be so hyped up. They have their quarterback back. Cincy lost a lot of really good players, and I think it's going to be one of those games like, duh, SEC. I mean, we saw it with, obviously, Bama's way better than Arkansas, but Cincy, they were kind of in that game, but, like, still, there'll just be moments where it's like Arkansas rips off a 20-yard run and makes it look super easy because – Everyone on their offensive line outweighs their defensive line. So I'm taking Arkansas minus six. Rico. I'm going to go with Cincy. Okay. I just think that that uh, I agree with you. Arkansas is going to be super hyped up. I like Fickle. I think he can keep it close. Okay. I would go six and a half. Okay. I, I like Arkansas it's a lot. It's six right now. Six? Yeah, it's six. I just I, I just all looked right. up all the lines. All right. Um, yeah, it said six on the thing. Six and a half on the thing. Yeah, give me sense. I'll stay I have sense. it in front of me. I'll, I'll no, update okay. anything live. Yeah, the sheets opening lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's sheets fine. opening give lines. Me, uh, These are, yeah, because like Pitt's minus eight. Yeah, now, give me yeah. sense. All right. I love Arkansas. I, I I feel like I've been on Arkansas now for a couple of years, um, and I think they win this game by twenty plus. Okay. Um, next up, we've got Utah at Florida. Florida's plus three. Over unders fifty one. Uh, Hank, your boy. AR-15. Not going by that nickname He's anymore. He's not going by that nickname okay. anymore because uh, <laughs> they saw it right yeah, yeah. situation. Yeah, that makes sense. That uh, makes sense. Yeah. So but that is Hank put a Heisman bet on him, yep. right, for ne for this year. One of the greatest athletes I've ever seen in person. He saw him play against LSU and was like, this guy yes. is <laughs> He lit it up. Special. They scored on every single possession. He is special, but he also, like. He had a bad season the rest of the season. But I can, I can just only say what I've seen with my eyes, and it was enough for me to put a, a, a future on him. All right, so I – Just like Cam Newton. I'm taking Florida in this game. I don't love it. This is another game that, like, th this wasn't part of my card until we did these. But I'm giving you a clap, Dan, because live and learn. Because you, you last year, if I recall, refused to recognize the difference between Utah at home and on the road. Yes, correct. And, and also Utah early and late. Yes. Utah early has, has had slow starts to the season. I think it's going to be swamp, the humidity. And Billy Napier is a very good coach. He's had all off season to plan for this. Everyone's having Utah as their dark horse college football playoff team. I'm going to take Florida. I I will take the points at the swamp all day long. This is a game. Even if I lose, I won't be upset. This is just I'm Florida at home against Utah. Yeah, I'm taking Florida. Who was the team who played? Was it was it BYU UCF and oh no, it was Boise UCF and they just completely like. I was like week one last year. BYU starred hot last there year. There was a delay. No, it was Bo I think it was Boise U UCF, and they 
and they came out like firing, and then it yeah, th- this yes, is what it was. And it died. Boise was up twenty four fourteen at halftime, and they just like the humidity and everything just crushed them, and they ended up losing thirty six thirty one. I remember I had I think I had Boise, so I'm I did trying to well. learn on the heat and the humidity. It's not the heat; it's the humidity. That's what they yeah, say. Yeah, you can't replicate that. Uh, but I am buying Utah. Okay. You talked about that, like how they they were they're bad early. It was that switch of quarterback. Brewer was there. They got rid of him. Um, Cam is it strong? Is their quarterback? Utah? Cam Rising. Cam Rising. Cam Rising. Uh, at Utah, he's ready to go. I like Utah. I am buying Utah as a playoff type team. We've had all year to get ready for this. They'll show up. I think they win the game. I don't Thank think they're going to make the playoffs because I, they have to play Oregon and use USC uh, uh, on the road. And what we just said about Utah at home. Versus yeah, it's just a matter of I didn't want to play. I'm, I'm not picking four across the board. Like, I think it's Alabama and Ohio State, and then you go from there. Yeah. So, and where do I think you can go undefeated and they have to take you as a like a fourth team or third team in the playoff is the Pac-12. My fourth so I think team Utah in the playoffs, dark horse is going to be Oklahoma. I think Ev gave that out as well. Okay. Ev's a, good, Ev's, Ev's a good gambler. Big 12 has a lot of middle-of-the-road teams who could pick each other off, though. I yeah, think no, they have Running some through that team. slate is tough. Adrian Martinez is on Kansas State. Old Nebraska quarterback. How many years does – what do you get? Forever. Like fresh four yeah. years when yeah. you go somewhere? Kansas State's yeah. a dark horse in that yeah. conference. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Uh, okay, last game. So your pick was Utah. Dave and I are on yeah. Florida plus three. Uh, last game, Notre Dame at Ohio State. This line has been just fucking – Hammered. I think it. I think it was under two touchdowns for a, all, almost all summer. Now it's Ohio State minus eighteen. Over unders fifty nine. I'll start. I'm taking the over fifty nine. I think Ohio State's offense is going to be electric. I think Notre Dame's not going to be able to keep up on the defensive side. I think I love Tommy Reese, the, the OC, personal friend of ours, uh, and I'll take the over fifty nine. Listen, I, I, Ohio State. People crown them uh, in, in the Final Four, this, that. I, I don't know what people see in Ohio State. I saw an Ohio State team that was humbled, mm-hmm. embarrassed, and dominated. And uh, I think Notre Dame keeps this game close. I think they could go 18? in there and beat this team. Yeah. Okay. Notre Dame. Fun Tommy Reese fact. Um, the famous Billy Barron night. Yeah. We actually saw him that night. He could have easily I been re- with yeah, us. Yeah, 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 I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. He could have been part of the, the true inner circle of trust. I think Notre Dame comes out mad, ready to play. Yeah. Okay. And Ohio and Marcus st- Freeman is, I mean, yeah. it, it's got to like the way that they, those guys reacted to him getting the head coaching job. Definitely. Like they love, love, love him. Yep. Uh, 80% of the money is on Notre Dame from what I'm being told. Who told you that? Ben Mintz. We <laughs> looked it up yesterday. Pick central. Uh, makes sense that you're gallivanting with him. Okay. Um, I would go over on here. I looked at Ohio State's – again, I still have some concerns on Ohio State's defense. I know they got the new coordinator, but I agree. I think the team total for Ohio State is like 38 and a half. I think they'll give one up to Notre Dame. I like the over. Okay. I think so Ohio State's going to be in the 40s, and from there, like, go from there. I, over. Okay. Um, and I don't – you don't, you don't want to take the bad number at 18 and a half. I do think Ohio State can, can smoke them as well, but I'm just going to stick with the over. Yeah. Great game to start week one. Great game. Night game. Night game. Yeah. Um, All right. So should we do our cards? Yes. I'm very excited for this. Rico, would you like to start? Why don't you? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, I got a short one. I I vowed I am sticking with the short one. So he's playing four corners all season. No, that's tough when you fall behind by 50 in week one. Well, 53, 30, but um, only two games out. How many games am I back? What was that? 53, 30? You lost by 53. 53. Oh, I'm two and one, though. Okay. You're zero and three. I did give two the more. Nice there was only one. one worse scenario that could have happened. What's that? Three and over is zero and three. All oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Kent State plus. Are, are we doing reg- re- relegation? Or was that like? Well, I don't want to bring it up, but he was so bad. So let's not let's table that until if he throws another offer, we're gonna have to talk. I about did it. also see. Rico claims he lost his phone on Saturday night. He tweeted Charlotte scored on the first drive, and he's like off to a great start. Then he didn't tweet for 24 hours after that. But someone did show me that he had replied to Rico being like, are we doing relegation this year? And then Rico just DM'd him saying, fuck you, and then blocked him. So you did have your phone. There's a few people who have the password. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Well, they should. Uh, hopefully, someone who can tweet. Sure. Kent State plus twenty three. Thirteen starters back. Uh, two excellent running backs. Three back on the O line. I like the quarterback. He's being touted in camp. Seven back on defense. They got to improve the defense. But the real thing here is what Penix is out at Washington. I don't love that kid from Indiana. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to take the twenty three for a live offense. Hope they Sean Lewis. Yeah, Kent State plus twenty three. Louisville minus four and a half. I like Malik Cunningham. I don't like Syracuse. It's four right now. Is it, did it go down? Yeah. Okay, I'm giving so for everybody who says you juice it. Just no, I got it as well. Minus four. Um, Syracuse eight back on a good defense. They also have a solid running back. Um, but I think believe the real advantage here is Louisville's offensive line against Syracuse's defensive line. Um, I like Satterfield. I like Louisville. Louisville's the play here. That was contrarian. Say it again. Say your sentences again. How so? Say your sentences. I thought you said Syracuse strong defense. Eight yeah, they have a strong defense in the secondary. They eight, couldn't get eight. owned. They'll get they'll get owned. They go yeah. They'll get owned on the line. I like I like Louisville's O line. The, the, all I was saying is he touted Syracuse defense. Compliment they're all back him, basically, yeah. and then he's like, but the the real advantage is the offensive line. I don't know. It made no sense. South Carolina, Georgia State. So eight back would include some of the linebackers yes. too, that, right? That, all, yeah, I mean, I Louisville's O line yeah, will. Unless I believe we'll own the line the of scrimmage. Entire time, you'd think even alignment. I think be, Louisville yeah. will own the line of scrimmage. Yeah. South Carolina, Georgia State over but the second, but but as soon as they get to the second level, that's what I Syracuse just don't know why. Shine. Sure, you point. I have out Louisville. They have Syracuse strong defense because it shows back. you do the research. What do you, you want me to just say everything positive about Louisville well, and not acknowledge? It, it, it shows it's you sort doing of prep. reminiscent of your I, I tough spot, but I like this favorite. Yeah, Continue. Verland the pitch well that night. Yeah, um, South Carolina, Georgia tough State. Spot. It was a tough spot. It was two good teams. Tough spot for Louisville's offense versus a great defense sure. bringing back eight, which you pointed out. Yeah. <laughs> South Carolina, Georgia State over 56 and a half. Uh, Spencer, Spencer Rattler is now the quarterback at South Carolina. A lot of people like them as well. Um, good running backs. 2,000 combined yards from the two running backs that they love. I like Georgia State. I think they're pesky. And also South Carolina was 94th against the rush last year. Georgia State will be able to get me a couple of scores here to get this over. Fresno State, this line jumped three points in a day. Fresno State minus 36 against Cal Poly is tomorrow night. That would be my lock if it wasn't for a Saturday play. Uh, Cal Poly was 0-3 in the COVID year, 2-9 and last year. Um, Fresno State was 27.5 last year against UConn. You're only laying now like 10 points more. I think Cal Poly is somehow 10 points worse than um, UConn. I think Fresno brings back everybody. I, I love Fresno. I love the quarterback. I go Fresno. I'll save that one. That's immortal. And uh, Southern Miss plus 3.5. Liberty loses Malik Willis to the NFL. Um, I like what they're saying about Southern Miss's offense. They were injured a ton last year, um, and they got 10 guys who've started games in the last two years on defense. I think they'll be able to get it. Freeze was running a little hot with Willis last year. He's gone. I'm going to go with Southern Miss plus three and a half. Okay. Dave. Yeah. All right. Uh, I was just writing down that, that, that Fresno, I don't know. That's an interesting. All right, um, I'll go through our card. It just went up to twenty six, so it's currently twenty six. I get to sign on the Fresno. Which side were you leading on Fresno? Fresno. I like I, I like Fresno. Um, he's he's betting uniforms. Oklahoma State minus twenty two uniform game. I always feel like they start fast. Their defense is good. Uh, who are they playing? Central Michigan. Central. They Michigan. did loot. Remember that game? Did they lost to them? Twenty sixteen. Yeah, well, I don't like Central Michigan because I think they wiggled out of our bowl game a yeah. little bit too. So I'm taking Oklahoma State minus 22. Play, yeah. uh, I already gave West Virginia plus 7.5. Uh, I love this one. Tennessee minus 35. I think they win by 70. I also, if I think they win by 70, the total is 68. I'm taking that over. <laughs> Tennessee seems like a team that just likes to beat people up at night at Tennessee. They're playing a terrible team. Who are they playing? Ball State. They're going to crush them. I'm going to add that to my um, I think Michigan State beats West Michigan. Uh, minus 23. Could start slow. Michigan State's pretty good. I think they win that game handily. I like the over in that game. Same. 54 and a half. Um, Colorado, plus 14 at home. So, is that your mortal lock? <laughs> Absolutely. We were at the Colorado facility, and they are wearing throwback uh, helmets. Ooh. Yeah. Like the, Night the enemy? Uh, I think so. That We saw them, right? They're the black helmets. Yeah, they were sick. Y- yeah. So, I... I we were in the like quick, quick round. Who are they playing? TCU. TCU. I I really got to put who and they're playing. Sonny now, Dykes is the Sonny coach Dykes at, at TCU. 
Is there echo? Sonny Dykes is uh, starting three <laughs> quarterbacks. Three. Three. He said Harbaugh. I like your two. I'm going it, three. Well, Harbaugh is getting biblical on people. <laughs> yeah. I, I Here's the thing about TCU. They weren't great last year. I li- Yeah, I like Sonny Dykes. But if you look at Colorado even last year, they were one of my teams, I think, as at home. They played pretty tough. I think they even had a couple wins for a terrible season. Incredible, incredible stadium. Um. I also like the over 55 and a half in that game. Uh, NC State, that's a team everyone's talking about. You see them in their top 20 everywhere. Uh, ECU will be waiting for them. Plus 11 and a half. What face is that? They, 0 3, man. The only, I, it seems, what did you say? I said, what face is that? 0 3, man. The only thing is that it doesn't it seem like everybody thinks ECU is a trendy underdog? No, I don't know. NC State's defense is better than people who, talk who, about. Who? I would imagine when they do like the super dogs or like upset specials. Like where have you heard it though so far? Pick Central every week. We're like, hey, week one, like who would be on upset oh, watch? Uh, it's NC State. Pick Central. Uh I like the over fifty one and a half in that game. I I love Same. this. Put this in the book. This is a winner. Uh UCLA bowling green over fifty six and a half. UCLA will have over fifty six and a half. Um I'm I, adding that. Uh, Arkansas minus six and a half. I already gave that out against Cincinnati. Oregon plus seventeen. Uh I like Arizona plus six and a half to go into the San Diego State. Maybe not win that game, but they'll keep that close. They're gonna play hard. Still a rel- I like programs that have like still relatively new coaches, and Arizona got a little competitive towards the end of the And you also have your old guy Brady Hoke. He had to do uh, – it was a terrible press conference about the Matt Ariza shit the other day. The who? The Bills punter who got oh, cut. Oh, oh, oh. Because it San happened Diego in San Diego State. State yeah, yeah, so yeah. they had to, like, get in front of everyone yeah. and be like, oh, we didn't know, but they did. Uh, Troy at Old Miss. I got Old Miss 26 and a half. I just think Old Miss – uh, at the Grove is a cash cow, and I like the over 58. Wait, that's uh, Not 21 and a half. Oh, yeah, what did I say? 26. Yeah, I just misread my own writing. I love it even more. I'm actually on the opposite of both those. Okay. Uh, USC minus 33 and a half against Rice, uh, blowout city. The over in UMass Tulane, I just like betting all UMass overs. I think they put up some points. Tulane's a big favorite in that game. Um Another game that I love, Kentucky minus 16 and a half at home against Miami of Ohio. I think Kentucky has a good year. Everyone knows I'm a big Kentucky guy. I've been for a while. Uh, Florida plus three at home against Utah. I like Memphis plus 15 at Mississippi State. I think Memphis, I don't know, they're always pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't think Mississippi State's anything to write home about. That was the, the game that Mississippi State got screwed last year. Remember? There's a lot of shit going on down yeah. there, too. Yes. The I one with the, the down. And yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got uh, something on Memphis, Katie? No, I was going to say the reminder of that game last year. Yeah. Memphis won. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Notre Dame plus 17, Ohio State. Syracuse plus four and a half based on Rico saying their defense is all back and very good. Um, I like the over in FSU, LSU, 51 and a half. Yep. Uh, I don't know if people saw the clips, but we had a uh, Sea Lion pick Georgia Tech against Clemson. So I will take Georgia Tech based on the Sea Lion, 21 and a half. Um, and then I have South Carolina minus 12, 12 and a half against Georgia State. I do like South Carolina. Um, the quarterback, I don't like Rattler. I didn't know he was there. But I, South, I think South Carolina, I bet them a lot last year. I thought they were good last year a lot. They didn't help me a lot last year. Um, but I'm taking them anyways. And do I want to add Fresno? What was the Fresno line? 36. I'll, yeah, I'll take Fresno. I'll take Fresno. Um, it's at 39 and a half right now. Wow. Wait, Jesus. Fresno minus 39 and a half? Yeah. Who are they playing? Cal, Cal Poly. Poly. I'll take them. Fuck. Whatever. I like those big spreads. Jump that fucking much. I'm going to take Fresno. Okay. Uh, all right. My picks real quick. I'll just rapid fire. Obviously, the ones we already went through. Yep. Um. I have La Tech plus twenty in the well, over. What, what percentage you guys are talking about? You know, eighteen, seven, sixteen. What, what are we giving Dukes this week? Of getting these right? Oh, zero. zero. <laughs> yeah, over zero. Zero. All right, La Tech have, plus twenty Dukes. over sixty and a half. LSU Florida oh, State over fifty one and a half. Mississippi State Memphis under fifty seven. App State minus one. That's a. I still can't believe that North Carolina scheduled that game at App State. Um. Illinois plus three. I might be wrong with that, but whatever. Like, Wyoming might be that bad. I'm trying to play that game, but I think Indiana's bad. Whatever. Uh, Troy plus 21 and a half and under 57 and a half. Duke Temple over 51 and a half. Louisville minus four. Almost my mortal lock, BYU minus 12. 
Uh, Texas State, Nevada over 51 and a half. Michigan State, Western Michigan, over 54. Dukes, you, Dukes, you, I don't know. I, I see you writing so fiercely. You can't keep up that way, I don't think. So what I would suggest is once the audio comes down, re-listen. I'll give you oh, my I sheet. Do. All I right, do. because I, how are you too. keeping up? He's I, Like, how can you write that fast? It's not, it's not realistic, but perfect practice makes perfect. Yeah, that's I'm trying true. my best out here. Um, like You'd have to be a speed writer, dude. Yeah. I mean, he's going a million miles per hour. Just one day, maybe. All right, so Texas State. Dylan used to record the audio on his phone. Yeah. yeah. I would always be like, what are you doing? But then he would just go back right after and listen. Yeah, right. That that method will not work. No. No. Shorthand. Uh, Texas State, Nevada over 51 and a half. Michigan State, Western Michigan over 54. Dave, you have that as well. Purdue plus three and a half at home against Penn State. I hate that game, but I hate that I got to bet it probably. Yeah, you do. You you do have. I to know. Win. Army it's plus a Mr. Ice's uh, national champion state. Penn. I think Purdue might win the, win it. Uh, Army plus two, Boise State plus two and a half, Maryland Buffalo over sixty three. I love that play. That was also almost my mortal lock. NC State ECU over fifty one and a half. Colorado plus fourteen. I've just added Tennessee minus thirty five and UCLA Bowling Green over fifty six and a half. Uh, riding with my friend Dave and then. Uh, I have Minnesota minus thirty six and a half. Do you know who's Do you know who's coaching New Mexico State, Dave? One of your all time favorite guys. He's going back to Minnesota. Jerry Kill, the seizure guy. Yeah, he almost wow. died. Football almost <laughs> killed him. And and here's why I'm taking Minnesota. Do they? So they have to have a backup seizure. Like yeah. it, like in the event, the seizure. Well, specialist. remember Dilly Bardan, who looked just like him. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, here's why they I'm have taking EMTs, it. doctors, and a seizure specialist. That's yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. Well, yeah, he's, yeah. I mean, he's, yeah. Uh, he's yeah. It, it, I don't know, it's sad. I mean, it's a condition, but he will have a seizure yeah. on the field. He always no. does. And I, this this might be the game because he hates, hates, hates P.J. Fleck. So in 2019, he said uh, uh, when he went to, into Minnesota, he was talking about P.J. Fleck. He says, when he went into Minnesota and treated the people the way he treated my guys and telling them he had to go in and completely change the culture, and it was a bad culture, you just don't treat people that way. He also said – about P.J. Fleck. He coached with me, but after that, he changed a lot. I'll just be honest with you guys. People that have known him before, when he got with Shiano, his personality changed a lot. And I knew his first wife, which is, that's a that's crazy whole thing. <laughs> I, and I knew his first wife, and he just changed a bunch. And then once he became head coach, he, I mean. That's, that's a it. whisker away and say, I fucked your wife. Yeah, that is the most personal you can get. Uh, we, uh, he became a head coach. I mean, I helped him to get the job at Western Michigan. And I just think sometimes ego gets carried away. There's also, like, now P.J. Flex being asked, will he shake his hand after the game? So there's bad blood. I think P.J. Fleck, Minnesota, is going to be good this year. They will run it up on him if they have the chance. Uh, so Minnesota minus 36 and a half. I didn't watch any – oh, I, sorry, you took the – I was going to give a point that doesn't help you. That's fine. Go ahead. Uh, Ev liked New Mexico State's quarterback that they put in. I don't know if he's going to be – but, I mean – how can, how can you like a guy who – they scored 12 points? He liked him. Said he liked his throws. Just okay. throwing that out there. Okay. I mean, that's fine. I, I just think P.J. Fleck, like, when you talk about – when you say, I knew his first wife. Yeah, that's vicious. You ha P.J. Fleck, if he's a man, has to run he's off He's also score. laid some eggs, too. He, he didn't – he couldn't beat Bowling Green last year. Like, yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, finally, uh, Jerry Kill also said, do I still root for the Gophers? I do. Do I enjoy him, talking about P.J. Fleck, running up and down the si sideline? No. I don't think he's about the players. No. He's about himself. You can't tell me you've watched him. You listen to his interview. You think he's about the players. That's bad blood. Yeah, surprise. That, this isn't your mortal. That no. is a classic, like row the boat, the suit, the tie versus a uh, seizure guy. Yeah, right. Like a seizure guy is never going to be about himself. Right. He's because he already has enough attention having seizures. Yeah. He's, so it's going to be at the players. He's literally seen God. Correct. He's been a breath away from dying. He knows the other side. But yeah, this is. That's some big time bad blood. I love it. Uh, all right, mortal locks. Let's start with Katie, and then we'll go around the room. Uh, also, um, we will have our mortal lock parlay, which is 0-1 in the season. I went light on it because it's not enough games. But uh, Barcel Sportsbook, we will be. You create your own three team parlay. Uh, it, it obviously you can't move the line. Three team parlay, any college football three team parlay on Saturday. And we will give you match up to twenty five bucks. You bet twenty five, you'll get free twenty five bonus cash. Love it. Also, we're, we're live in, in Kansas. You yeah. opt in, opt in. Also, yeah, we are live in Kansas. And the other thing, another promotion we're just doing is bet anything 
first time users, anything, bet anything, you bet 10 cents, that will give you a free $100 bonus cash love it by the way for bonus cash how it works you have to it, it, it all right you bet 10 cents you get 100 you can't cash out the 100 you got to bet it once so you bet 100 you win it's real money you can cash which it out. is compared to everyone else they have like 20 time play over shit correct it's one so, time those one are the two time. things we got going opening weekend yep okay uh katie um also just to go against your byu so shit. south florida when they're at home against ranked teams they have five and zero oh against the spread in the last okay. five yeah. but could be a heat could be a heat game yeah no it's i very I similar to florida myself. utah yeah. no no but. i went against myself i know that but my lock will be kentucky 16 and a half oh uh add it to my card that was mine yeah. oh that's, that's why lock. that's why i went oh <laughs> okay add it to my card i didn't see that coming in a gigantic board the first one my same mortal lock all right uh, I'm going to do the Notre Dame Ohio I made State over $100,000 on that game now, responsibly. Whoa. What uh, was yours? The Notre Dame Ohio State over. Anthony Richardson, by the way, plus 2500 to win the Heisman. Only seven guys higher than him, so it's got a shot. Uh, my my We talked about it. My mortal is Colorado. I also like Florida, but Colorado, we were there. He was telling us. He was like, oh, we got something special. Friday Night Lights, Colorado, best best one of the best college football stadiums I've ever been to. One of the great mysteries – on why they've been so bad for so long. I've never been there, but everybody says what you just said. You see it on TV. I what like they also what? hide that they hide the uh, the buff. It's like a secret. Yeah, no one In knows the where they keep them because they said that someone will try to kidnap it. Ralphie. <laughs> no, they were like, yeah, Ra- we we're like, where is it? They're like, and he's like, we like, can't no, tell no, you. We don't. Uh, it's Ralph very odd. Far. I mean, when when I was growing up, they they were like the class. They they were yeah, Cordell Stewart. Yeah, the Hail Mary versus Michigan. You had uh, McCartney with five downs. Yeah, those Nebraska Colorado games. Was yeah. Wasn't that always the Friday after Thanksgiving? Still is. No, no. Uh, Colorado. Who do they play after? Well, Nebraska plays Iowa, Iowa. now. Who's Colorado play? I don't know. Colorado's kind of dead. Does Colorado still play that Friday after Thanksgiving? They had Rashawn Salam too. Colorado. Yes, they did. Right? Yeah, of course. Um, R.I.P. I don't know if we. Is he dead? Yes. Yes. Dude. Come on, Rico. All right, uh, Aria, what's your point? I saw this video, and it's almost like that. It's like a huge fish that just sucks. It's a whale. It sucks all the other fish. You saw that? It's him and vibes. It's Rico yes. the vibe. That's what, literally what it reminded me of. Dave. But the Rashawn Salon. It's like some, we're having a great show. I'm going to say something that I, I'm not going to – I don't want Rico to listen to. And it was a thought I said out loud. We walk in the office today. It's just raining in the office. Half the office just can't be used. And Marty – was walking around because you never see, and I might have said out loud, "I'd actually rather you sit next to me than Rico because he's killing my vibe so mm. bad." It, it, I, I took the higher road and did not. But you know the video I'm talking about. He's just. It looks like the whole ocean is getting sucked into this with all this fish and everything. This uh, vibes vampire. Yeah, well, we, you know, it's a, it, when we went to the Wisconsin uh, Michigan game, we went took a tour of the facilities. There's a big sign in the weight room that says, "Don't be an energy vampire." Yes. Rashawn we need that Salam. literally right above Rico's. Trying to wrap Rico's. up a good show. Rashawn Salam. Still dead. alive. He's dead. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> All right. Uh, Aria. <laughs> I'm going uh, Utah minus three. Just thinking about like grown men and them practicing in high altitude after being in high altitude personally. Versus playing in, right. versus playing in humidity. Yeah, okay. that's the take that you were in high humidity, high <laughs> altitude. He almost died on I Everest. Okay. Yeah, Multiple times. All right. One of those Dukes. idiots who shouldn't be there. <laughs> I love the uh, BC under 48 and a half, two defensive-minded coaches. Uh, I think it's just going to be like 24 I think BC game. is my long shot to win the ACC. I don't Ooh. know what those odds are. That was one of my futures that I like. Whoa. Okay, Rico. You, you know what? I'll go and then you finish. Uh, I am taking App State UNC over 56. Uh, if you watched UNC week zero – I think, what was Jack McGuire calling him? FAMU? FAMU, uh, which is a uh, yeah. not an FBS school. HBCU. HBCU. Have you seen the video? What? This. Oh, that's him. That's literally We need him. to remake that. Just Rico uh, tagged, and then it's just vibes. Just swallowing that's them you. all up. It's crazy. Yeah, you just swallow them I, all up. I, I saw it. I literally was like, that's Rico. <laughs> uh 
Florida, what is it? Florida A and M. A and M yeah. ran all over. We they, could not they, stop for shit. Yeah, I mean they're they're a class below UN. They're an HBCU and they went into UNC and they scored with twenty four points. Yeah, and uh, they brought UN- in Gene Chizik too for DC and did nothing. Yeah, UNC's uh, defense is horrendous. Their offense, I think that quarterback they have, Drake May, is pretty good. Uh, he's supposed to be the next guy. I think they're going to App State and them. They're going to go back and forth over fifty six. That is my mortal lock. It's at noon on Saturday. Very excited for that game. Rico. UCLA, minus 23. I like that pick. Okay. DTR, you're both on the over. You said UCLA is going to score. DTR is uh, is a dual-threat quarterback. Chip in a flex here. I think he's he's got, really got to get it going. It's against Bowling Green with a big number, which has been my kryptonite. Um, but Bowling Green is going to run. The it's only problem I have with Bowling Green. Like, this guy, he's got to do better. He's got to have – like, he were 8-4 last year. Like, it's another – or, I'm sorry, a flex spot. He's going to flex. Like, they're playing an inferior opponent. Oh, flex, flex spot. spot. Flex spot. I do think it's a, it's a good year for UCLA. I don't got it. Like, like oh, rem- remind muscle. people. Yeah, yeah hey. But that's what I didn't understand. Flex. I thought yeah, I flex spot. Offense, flex spot. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, Bowling dude, Green will run tempo, which will increase possessions. I like that for UCLA. Yeah, that's the only problem. They, they Bowling Green, I still have kind of – they were really bad last year, right? Yeah, but they beat Minnesota against me. They beat Buffalo. Like, they pull these weird upsets. I think UCLA is much more of a class up. Yeah, that's, that that worries me. That's why I like the over because it's like I, I could easily see Bowling Green scoring 20 points. Then you need, what, 50? Yeah. 48, yeah. It's your funeral. I like UCLA. Okay. Um, great pick em. Good job, everyone. Good luck to everyone week okay. one. It's- I'm Week so one, excited. I, I got to get out. It's just like a horse getting out of the gate. Two-year-old fillies. Like, if you can't get out of the gate, you can't win the race. You got to get out. You got to get out. You got to have to, you have to put down the the. If the I lose blocks. this week, I'm going to lose seven figures by mid, mid-season, yeah. no doubt. But I if need, I win, I can postpone it. I need you looking at me late September and being like, I'm having Correct. a spectacular football Correct. season. Because things start, you start chasing, things aren't great. Yeah. And don't do it bet responsibly. Barcel Sportsbook. Again, your own three-team parlay. We will, you bet. Up to 25 will match bonus cash and first time users bet anything and we'll give you a hundred bucks. Boom. Love it. Okay. See everyone next week.